<laughs> Just kidding. Well, meteorologists from across the nation are training in Boise this week. It's part of the Incident Meteorologist Training. They're more commonly known as IMETs, and they play a crucial role in the management and suppression of wildfires. Our Andrew Bartline spoke with meteorologists at the annual training. So, Andrew, what additional skills are they learning, and, and why is this needed? Well, IMETs are unique because they're boots on the ground. They use remote technology, so an IMET can report real-time weather patterns at the scene of a large wildfire. IMETs work directly with fire behavior analysts who use their weather reports to keep fire crews safe and best stop the fire from spreading. The United States spends more than $2 billion a year in wildfire suppression and damages. It's a problem the National Weather Service says has only grown worse as the fire season grows longer. The National Interagency Fire Center proactively combats the threat of wildfires by connecting meteorologists with fire behavior analysts for an annual training. We have people coming from Alaska. We have people coming from Honolulu. And it's happening right here in Boise. Whatever the case is, they are here to support us. For a week, meteorologists learn in the classroom and train in the field. It's a step toward their incident meteorologist credential known as IMET. You don't want to go out there cold. You want to at least have a little bit of preparation when you go out to your first fire or even if it's your 50th fire. John Keyes is an IMET trainee. He's been a meteorologist for decades and got the bug to become an IMET after observing a wildfire crew firsthand. Being here doing an exercise is one thing, but being in the heat of the battle, that's a completely different beast. IMETs work on site, responding directly to a wildfire. They use mobile technology, like a remote automated weather station, to report the weather in real time. Uh, fires will create their own weather. Field technician Michael Schroll is training these meteorologists how to maintain and use the remote technology. They want real-time information, so these weather stations give the incident meteorologists and the fire behavioral analysts um, a weather update every 15 minutes. Fire behavior analysts use this information from the real-time weather reports to tailor the best suppression strategy for that specific fire. Fuels and the topography don't change, but the weather does. It's a working relationship that California fire behavior analyst Jonathan Pangbird says is needed to suppress wildfires, especially out here in the West. We're trying to make sure that we keep our personnel safe with the approaching fire front, and there's no way to do that without the meteorologist. The National Weather Service says 3% of meteorologists are IMETs, and meteorologists seek out this credential on a volunteer basis, and they are growing. 2021 was the busiest year ever for the IMET program. IMET logged 217 missions. That previous record was 206. Well, hopefully 2022 won't be that bad, but with this drought, sounds like they're going to be busy once again, so yeah. good thing they're getting this training. Andrew, thank you.